Hello everybody. Um, I am going to share with you a book that I made for my sister. And yes, it's a Christmas present. It's a little bit late. She gave me permission to be late. I wanted to do something special for her. So I want to give you a little background. She and her husband were high school sweethearts. They married after they both went to college. And he was in the Air Force Orchestra as a violinist. The strolling strings, as they were known, may still be known, I don't know. And she was a violin teacher in the schools where she where they lived he became once out of the military and this was during the vietnam war so it was pretty impressive that he got into the air force orchestra rather than having to go to vietnam uh, but he did that because he got a very low draft number back in the days of the draft at any rate um they got married after college. They moved to Northern Virginia, and he got a position with the National Symphony Orchestra, where he spent the next 30-plus years, oh, heavens, 40-plus years, um, of his career. He also enjoyed working on old clocks, antique clocks, and then he got into refurbishing old violins. And he taught on the side privately. My sister also taught on the side privately. They had two children that they adopted. And they had a beautiful life. Back in, oh goodness, October, two years ago, he passed away from cancer. And before a year had passed, she made the decision to come to Roanoke and live near me. She has done an amazing job of embracing her new life here. Uh, she's got a social life that just absolutely puts mine in the dust because she is so much more outgoing than I. But I wanted to give her something that's a part of me and what I'm doing now and is also hopefully something she'll use. Uh, she's not someone who records her life in any way. So I don't know how this will be received. But anyway, I wanted to share it with you. You will not see this video until after she has opened it, which I expect will be this weekend. And um, hopefully she will not be too unhappy with me for the amount of information I've given you about their lives. I've tried to keep it fairly quiet and low-key. At any rate, I used the Graphic 45 paper, um, and yes, this is Sorry Silk, which I have only just wrapped around multiple times, if I can get it off. Um, but I used the Love Notes kit of papers from Graphics 45 because we have a family name of flower and a family name of rose in our history as well. And so when I saw the roses and the My Dearest Darling and Love Notes and the violin, you know I had to use this. It is only, it's a very small journal, and that's partly because I know she's going to be hard-pressed to use it. Um, just under five inches wide, about six and three-quarter inches tall, and a very short um, one-and-a-half inch spine with three signatures. This is not something, you know, this is probably the second... Um, junk journal that I've made and the first one where I used 
uh, sewn in signatures. So be kind. <laughs> um, on the first page, I used, let's see if I can get this in the middle here so that you all can see it. Uh, I used the Grand Duet paper from the kit and made a little pocket, the tuck spot. I think this one I love the most because it has the violin front and side, which is the sort of thing he would have been looking at when he looked at violins to possibly purchase for refurbishment. Um, I used a couple of uh, um, Martha Stewart punches to do edging on my coffee dyed paper. Most of what I used in the um, book is from Tracy Fox, not all, um, but I did use a lot of her different kits. Um, I adore her work, and I'm going to be awful and not remember what they all are, but I believe this is one of hers. Um, some of the paper is just from paper kits that I had that I then dyed, um, coffee dyed, um, and you will recognize some. And of course, I turned this one upside down, which is just too bad. Uh, it's one of those cute little things that happens when you're making something. Uh, this is not a Tracy Fox, and I cannot remember what, what kit it came from, but I chose the bees because our father, um, had beehives when we were growing up. And so that's kind of a family um, bit to remember. She loves dragonflies and butterflies, and so that tag had to be a part of it. Um, I used a little bit of stamping throughout, but mostly pieces from um, the kit, the Graphic 45 kit. This, I don't remember who I got the bingo cards from, but I will put it down in the um, in the description below if I can remember and learn how to do it. Um, of course, I used music um, charms. You know I would do that, right? And lace on the tabs. I used a whale tail punch. A little violin sticker and a punch I mean stamp and another punch both of which are Martha Stewart uh, the punches are I used Tracy's idea for the uh, little dangle charm here but this is not a Tracy uh, digital and I don't remember. I think it came with the same folks that did the other butterflies. This is from the Graphic 45 kit. This sheet music is some of theirs. Um, she gave me a big stack of it when uh, she was getting out of the house. And I made the decision that I was going to save some of it to use um, in her book. A lot of pages that I hope she'll be able to use. This is a picture of him uh, that the symphony used in all of their um, advertising. You know, all of the players have their photos made. But I loved this in particular. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours. This love story between the two of them is something most of us only dream of. They were so lucky. They knew they were lucky. And it just, to me, was important to add touches like this. I love the little birds. Her kitchen in her old house had bird tiles throughout because she loves them so much. So when I found this also online, and I don't remember who it's by, um, I had to include that. It just made me think of them. But she has space to write on if she ever wishes. She may just cry over it for all I know. I made this flip, which I believe is the same idea that came from Wendy of Wendy's Journal Adventures. You all can correct me if I'm wrong and if it came from someone else. That's sorry silk attaching the two, and I think this is Tracy Fox. 
Here is the Poet and Peasant, which is one of the pieces that they would have played. They were never homeless, but that was on the back of the piece. Another dragonfly, and Tracy's idea here with the roses. Again, another stamp of the violin. And then I have, I have little romance type, the, the wedding uh, stamps from the United States and that kind of thing in this little glycine envelope. But this um, paper clip is not easy to take off, so I'll leave it there. More wonderful paper with the Martha Stewart punch. And then this is Tracy's, several of Tracy's kits actually, um, along with another kit for the Raider Tay Rose that I used for the um, vellum. And I, of course, I did this exactly the way Wendy does hers. I must have watched that video three times. Another, whoop, yes, some of the sorry silk. <laughs> A little bit of uh, music notes. Another bingo card. Oh, I should probably tell you that the bingo cards are in here, not just because they are pink and have roses on them, but since she has come to live in the first one and now the, her permanent uh, retirement community here in the valley, bingo has become one of her games, that and pinochle, and I didn't have any pinochle sheets, um, but boy, does she enjoy playing games with her new friends, which is just amazing to me. Here's another one of the beautiful specimen slides. And this is from the kit, the uh, Graphics 45 kit. Um, beautiful little envelope. And I do have something stuck down in here, but I'm not sure it's going to come out. There it is. It says, My Darling, which of course is the way she would remember him. And I'll put that back on. I was lucky enough to have a rose gold heart paper clip. Another beautiful piece from, this is a sticker from the Graphic 45 kit, and some washi, which has the lovely bot botanical things that she loves. More pink paper. And then at the, at the end, a little library card that I have um, embellished with more of these delightful birds in couples. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope she will love it. And uh, maybe I'll have enough nerve now to try to make another one. Thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me. I don't post very often. This is getting to be a new thing, but if you'd like, I certainly would appreciate it if you would uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Who knows, you might see another lovely sometime. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Bye.